Hey, it's Jason here, and this video is going to be about using two internet connections on the same network separately. Now, <clears throat> before I start, we have right here a uh, cable modem, and right here a DSL modem. Now, ignore the other three DSL modems, as that is something completely different on its own. So we're gonna we're going to say, um, for instance, uh, you might want to purchase a second connection to do. Um, some stuff with, um, be it a live stream or whatever, and you want to use a main connection on other computers for just everyday normal use. And uh, I'm pretty much going to demonstrate that so you can use your cable connection um, for stuff and your DSL for other stuff, but inside the same network. Now, how this works and why you would do that is because if you're inside the same network and you have different computers specified to use either uh, cable or DSL in this situation, um, you can still be inside your network, transfer files inside the network at full speed and, and, and things like that, like using synergy between one computer and another. And you might want both those computers to ha use one internet connection the other computer use the other internet connection. I'm pretty much going to demonstrate that. Uh, I have two routers here. This is the Linksys router. This is, we're going to call this Gateway 1, and this is another router. This is Gateway 2. Now, you can see that there's a cable that connects from the port on Gateway 2 to Gateway 1. Now, Gateway 1 hosts the cable connection, and Gateway 2 is the DSL. So go, we'll go with that. Um, and basically I have the cable connected to the WAN port on this Linksys router. And then the DSL is connected to the WAN port on this router and then connected through to there. Now, how this works is this is a dual gateway setup. You can have as many gateways as you want, three, four, or five. But in this particular setting, uh, I have cable and DSL. Um, all my computers, um, you know, for all the clients or whatever, use the cable connection by default, which is obtained from the DHCP from this router, Gateway 1, and uh, I specify the other computers I just want to use DSL by setting a manual network configuration or static IP. How does this work? Well, first of all, this has IP address 192.168.1.1. This has IP address 192.168.1.2. So you have 1.1. Uh, and 1.2, gateway 1, gateway 2. Now, first of all, for this to work, um, you got to get a separate router, and uh, you have to configure it separately. So first of all, you would connect your DSL modem to it, or cable, whatever, for your second connection, and completely have that disconnected from the, the network. You're not going to connect the two routers together. What you want to do is you want to go in and configure the router as you would normally with a, a single gateway setup. Make sure that's functioning, that's working, it gives out the DHCP, everything. Uh, it's going on the internet and, and everything should be good. Now generally when you get, uh, you know, all routers generally are either 192.168.0.1 or they're 1.1. So there's some configuration that has to be done. That way when you plug this in with this, so to be on the same network, there is no conflict, and there's another thing you have to do. First of all, once you, you manage to get your, uh, let's say, DSL going and everything on the second gateway you're going to set up, um, what you want to do is you want to go into the configuration, and you want to change the IP address to make sure that it's in the same um, range as this, as gateway 1. Let's say they both have the same IP, 1.1. Well, what you want to do is with the second one is change it from 1.1 to 1.2. That way it won't conflict with the first one. The second thing you have to do is turn off DHCP. And why? Because Gateway 1 is going to handle all your DHCP stuff. It's basically going to send out which computer um, that's dynamically configured is going to have what IP on the network uh, to tell what gateway to point to in DNS and stuff like that. You don't want gateway 2 doing that or your second router because it's going to conflict on your network and they're going to be fighting with each other. So what you would do is after you configure the IP address to have 1.2 or 0.2, whatever is in the range of your main router, the second thing you do is go in and turn off DHCP because this is going to give it out. So when you you plug anything in wired or on your Wi-Fi or whatever, it's going to obtain stuff to go on, in this case, the cable connection. Okay, so you can go right on the internet right away. Now, 
how do you get the computers to go on a DSL line? Well, the DSL is going to be a secondary connection, and in this way, for them to go on uh, the DSL line, you have to configure the computers manually to use Gateway 2, 1.2. Now, I'm going to show you over here. I had the, the configuration here. Um, this is my laptop. This is on Wi-Fi, and uh, basically uh, the DHCP servers 1.1, the same with the DNS and default gateway, that is the cable connection. So if I go on the web, I am going to be surfing on the cable connection. Now what I do here is I just want specific computers to go on the DSL, so I'd manually configure it to use gateway 2. I'll go into the properties here. As you can see, obtain an IP address automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the details here. One, nine, two, one, six, eight, one, and then I'm going to do, let's say, oops, two fifty. All right, subnet two five five two five five two five five zero. This is where you want to tell it to use gateway two. We remember that in the status it was showing. 1.1, but what, what we're going to do here is we're going to change it to 1.2. So we're going to do 1.2, 6, 8, 1.2. And the same with uh, the DNS server. Or if you use OpenDNS or Google DNS, you can just, that's fine. 1.2. So I click OK. And details. And there it is. So this has IP address 192.168.1.250 manually configured. Uh, DHCP is no because we just gave it a manual IP address. And we did that so we could set the gateway. 192.168.1.2. And then if I go on the internet, we are on the DSL line. So that's basically how you would set up dual gateways. So you have two separate internet connections um, being used separately but inside the same network. And I just have a cable going from this port, which is a normal switch port. Remember, DSL line is in here in the WAN port. And it comes down and it just connects to a normal switch port on the router. And this is connected to the WAN. This goes to the cable. So that's pretty much it. So what the computer is doing is now that we manually configured it, is it saying, well, all my information and stuff's going to be passed through gateway 1.2, which is that. Clients using DHCP that obtain an IP address automatically inside your network, you know, will automatically use gateway 1.1, which is this. So this is kind of acting like basically just a switch between this router and this router. This router is acting like a switch from here, um, passing information through it. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm on the Wi-Fi on this one or if I have Wi-Fi on this one, since we set it up that this is going to handle DHCP. This has DHCP, DHCP disabled, so basically it doesn't matter if you have computers plugged into here or into here or which Wi-Fi network you select, it's going to automatically obtain DHCP from here. And then you go in and manually configure the computers to use Gateway 2 in the Gateway address. And then, whether you're on Wi-Fi or wired, it will use that gateway. And that's basically routing. I hope this video was useful to you, because I know there's people out there that want to get a second connection or things like that, or wonder how can it be set up that I can be inside the same network or you know, being able to have cable and DSL and, and not separate my network. And you can see me right there. <laughs> um, so that's what this is. And questions I might get in the comments might be, well, what about uh, combining connections? And that's where this comes in. These are four DSL modems, but that's a completely different thing on, on its own called MLPPP, which I have another video on. Multi-link point-to-point -point protocol, which is about bonding... Uh, modems. So yeah. If you like our videos, why not subscribe? Check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Macintech. Make sure to click the subscribe button. And check out our website at macintech.net. This has been Jason, and we'll chat at you later.